on the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Kung merong isang tao na masayang masaya ngayong araw, yun po ang aking lola, si Nana Itay, na siyang nagturo sa aking magdasal, siyang nag-inspire sa akin, nagdadala sa akin sa mga padasal. Siya ang naging rason bakit mahilig akong kumain ng pansit. Siya ang rason bakit nahiligan akong uminom ng kape. At siya ang nagpipilit magpursigi sa akin since I was in minor seminary. Pero sila ay namatay na nung ako ay third year high school. At ngayon, sila ang pinakamasaya. Gaudete in Domino, rejoice in the Lord. Gaudete in Domino is actually a command. It is an imperative. Isang utos ang maging magalak sa Diyos. Parang mahirap isipin. Parang mahirap utusan ang isang tao or pilitin ang isang tao na maging magalak. Si San Pablo mismo ang nagsabi. He said, Rejoice in the Lord. I say it again, Rejoice. The person who says Rejoice in the Lord was rejected by the Jews. He was proclaiming Christ crucified, but he was rejected by his listeners. Rejoicing is possible despite rejection. Gaudete in Domino is possible. Even though we eat, we live, and we breathe in the world, we are first and foremost the Lord's, and that is enough reason for rejoicing. The second reason for rejoicing is that the Lord has chosen us. Hindi lang kami na bagong ordain na pare, pero lahat tayo by virtue of our baptism. We are chosen by the Lord. But like Saint Peter, we also deny the Lord. When the people accuse us and tell us, you are one of the disciples of Christ, we shy away in denial. We deny the Lord whenever we commit sin. Like Saint Paul, we also persecute the Lord. We persecute the Lord when we withhold charity to the ones in need. When we deny forgiveness to our enemies. When we choose self-preservation in place of generosity. Despite our weaknesses and failures, the Lord chooses us. We are also given keys like St. Peter, Susit. Keys to open the hearts of those who do not yet believe. Those 
who no longer believe and to those who do not want to believe. We are also given a book and a sword, a book to remind us that we should spread the faith and a sword to remind us of sacrifice, that there is no greater love than to lay down one's life for his friends. Because we are baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, it is our duty to make disciples for the Lord. After rejoicing in the Lord, because we know that the Lord has chosen us, the question to ask is, Does the Lord rejoice in me? Mahirap malaman kung ano ang nasa isip ng Diyos. But the Lord Jesus Christ Himself said, Whoever remains in my love and keeps my commandments, his joy will be complete. He will have eternal life. When we choose God, we choose heaven. When we choose God, we choose love. Heaven is our destination. Love is our way. And the Lord is our guide. We thank the Lord. We rejoice in the Lord. Gaudiamus in Domino. Amen.